Hello, oh, good evening. Uh, my name is Chris, uh, Christine Francisco from Tickmill. And uh, uh, thank you again for uh, taking your time to participate in our uh, webinar. So uh, tonight we will be discussing um, Forex Basics. So if you have um, any questions, you can uh, raise hand. If not, meron din tayong uh, chat box. And uh, also at the end of um, every uh, topic, uh, we have some questions. We entertain tayo ng questions. So uh, let me know if uh, meron kayong mga questions so we can uh, um, discuss it. So let us uh, proceed. So um, first of all, uh, I, I want to, to read this disclaimer. Um, Tick Mill does not give uh, financial advice. If in doubt, please seek independent financial advice. All comments stated in this webinar not uh, does not reflect the opinion of Tick Mill as a company. Whilst this presentation has been prepared to the best, best of our knowledge, Tick Mill will not be held liable for any inaccuracies or errors found in the documents. Risk warning. CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due, uh, due to leverage. 73% and 70% of retail investors' accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK uh, Limited and Tickmill Europe Limited, respectively. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. All right, so let's proceed. Um, Tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, Forex trading, a, a beginner's guide. So first of all, um, what is Forex? Um, what are the common Forex trading terminologies that uh, Forex traders uses? Also, what are the types of Forex analysis that can help you decide um, what trade um, are you going to take, what position? Um, are you going to do in uh, trading? And uh, next, uh, how to start trading uh, in the Forex market and what are the ways to earn in the Forex market? Okay, so, right. so if, if uh, you can't hear me or if there's any uh, anything wrong, just uh, let me know through the, the chat box, okay? So, okay, let's... Uh, Go back to the, the session. So what is Forex? Forex is the shortcut for foreign exchange. It's a currency trading um, for FX market. It's the buying and selling of foreign currencies. So it's, it's a place where uh, you buy and sell uh, currencies. So Forex is the largest market in the world. How, how, how do we say it's the largest? What's our basis? So if you compare um, the Forex market to uh, the stock market, uh, the stock market is trading at 212 billion daily trading volume, while the Forex market is trading at $5.1 trillion. Uh, so that's how big this uh, market is. And, um, so the good thing about the, that is you can actually take advantage of um, this type of uh, market. So um, let's check. How, how does uh, Forex trading work? So let's put it in a layman's term. So for example, uh, you traveled abroad. So uh, let's say you went to, to the United States. So you're going to be needing um, money. Siyempre, the, the peso, the Philippine peso that we have. We cannot use it um, uh, in the United States. We need to buy their currency. So, for example, uh, you're going to be on vacation. Um, you're going to be visiting uh, your relatives or uh, your friends in the U.S. So, you have um, to exchange, let's say, $1,000. So, at the time, the, the exchange rate for the um, dollar versus peso is uh, 50 pesos is equivalent to $1. So if you needed um, $1,000, you would have 
um, given the, let's say, the money changer or the bank 50000 in exchange to $1,000. And uh, let's say after um, a year, you, you went back to uh, the Philippines. So since you were visiting relatives, hindi, hindi ka nila inalaw na, na magbayad. So they paid for everything. So yung pocket money mo na $1,000, intact pa rin siya. Hindi mo siya nagamit. So uh, ang ginawa mo, since hindi mo rin naman magagamit yung dollar sa Philippines, so you, you need to exchange it to uh, Philippine peso. And at the time, after a year from exchange rate of 50, tumaas, naging 52, doll, 52 pesos na per dollar. So when you went to the money changer, you brought your $1,000. Uh -huh. uh, the value of it after a year is 52,000 pesos. So there you go. Um, that is a very plain example of how the Forex market works. You, um, when the value of increases from 50 to 52, um, nakapag-earn ka ng 2,000 pesos. So, uh, yung original mong 50,000 naging 52. So, that's how um, Forex market works. So, wh why do we want to trade Forex? What's, what's the reason? So, we trade Forex um, for several reasons. First, it's high liquidity. So what does liquidity means? The so liquidity describes um, the extent to which an asset can be bought or sold uh, and sold quickly and at stable prices and converted to cash. So when there's high liquidity, there is more opportunity for you to uh, buy and sell assets or instruments. Another um, feature of Forex market is 24 by 5 market. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, from, uh, from our time, uh, that's Monday morning, around 5 or 6 a.m., opening market, and it will close ng Saturday at around 6 a.m. So, another thing then that I, I like the, the Forex market is, even if you trade from Monday to Friday, pagdating ng weekend, you still can have a life. You have uh, time for your family, di ba? You can go out. Hindi mo kailangan na um, buong week nakabantay lang sa, sa mga trades mo. So, this is actually one good feature of Forex. And besides that, let's say if you're working and uh, gusto mo lang ng, ng side hustle, uh, you can have your 8 to 5 job for 9 to 6. Tapos, after your job, saka ka mag-check uh, ng market, saka ka mag-trade. So, that's another feature of uh, this market. So, you can find the perfect time for you to trade in the market. Okay, next. Right. So when is the, the best time to trade? So we will convert it to, to Manila time. So there are the, the Asia market, the Europe market, and the New York market, or the US market. So if the... The market opens at around 5 a.m., that's Sydney time, and also around 7 a.m., uh, Tokyo time, um, followed by the European time, that's 4 p.m., and the New York time. So, kailan ba yung best to trade if you are trading in this uh, market? So, um, sabi nila, the best time to trade is when the New York, and London market pagka nag-meet sila. So that's around 4 p.m. Um, and, and 9 p.m. It's the best time to trade kasi this is the time na marami ng active traders. No? So marami nang nagpapagalaw ng market. And uh, during the morning kasi, hindi pa ganun ka active yung market. So this is, this is the best time. So if you can catch it, then that's good. Okay, next. So we have um, several major currency pairs na tinatrade natin. So we have um, the Euro US dollar, New Zealand dollar. We also have um, USD JPY, Australian dollars, um, GBP USD or Great British Pound, um, USD Switzerland franc, 
USD, uh, Canadian dollars. So these are the major currency pairs and kung mapapansin nyo, lahat sila paired with uh, US dollars. And uh, in Tickmill po, no, so I'm, I'm very proud uh, to say this, na in Tickmill, if you have the pro and the VIP account, these majors, most of the time, ang spread niya nags start from 0.0. .0. So later on, let's uh, discuss uh, yung importance ng spread. Why do we need a broker who will give us a lower spread? Okay. Next, uh, we also have the cross currency pairs. So we have the euro paired with other currencies. We have euro GBP, euro CHF, euro CAD, euro ODD. Euro NZD, Euro JPY, and we also have JPY or Japanese Yen pairs paired with uh, other currencies then like CHF or uh, Swiss, Switzerland franc, Australian dollar, Great British pound, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and GBP also paired with other currencies, Canadian dollars then, uh, Australian dollars, and also the New Zealand dollar. So uh, also these pairs may mga nicknames din sila. Uh, which you will notice in some of, uh, if not all, some of the mga news and analysis. So, uh, Japanese yen, they call it yen. Uh, Canadian dollar, they call it, they call it loonie. Si New Zealand dollar, they uh, call it uh, kiwi. Uh, that's their national bird. Tapos si Australian dollar naman is um, Aussie dollar. Okay. So other currencies, other currencies, uh, we have this. Um, th actually, these are exotic pairs. So pag sinabi natin exotic, uh, these are the pairs na hindi masyadong kinetrade. So the spread of these pairs medyo malaki. Uh, we have USD Hong Kong dollar, U uh, Euro Turkish Lira, USD Norwegian Kron, US dollar South African Rand, US dollar Swedish Krona, um, US dollars Danish Kron, uh, US dollars Singaporean uh, dollar. So th those are other pairs. But if you're, uh, since um, most of us are beginners in this market, I would actually, I would advise now, if we're trading, let's focus first on the major currency pairs or even uh, just uh, select lang one or two pairs that uh, you will trade because you have to observe first how this market moves. Okay. Next. Uh. Hello. Ah, uh, okay. So, ngayon ko lang po na basa. Is it, no sound pa rin po ba? Okay. Okay. That's good. Um. Alright, so going back, um, high volatility. So for high volatility, profits can be earned within a shorter period of time. So in forex market, um, actually if you're familiar with the stock market, you will notice the difference. Uh, kung gaano, uh, how fast this market moves. Alright, so I will give you uh, an example of how this, uh, how fast the market moves.
so there so there you you see how how the the market moved the right? in in a span of uh, a few seconds uh you would have earned uh easily two thousand dollars um so that's normal in this market but um we have to also be um aware that if you can earn that much you can also uh, lose that much that's a possibility this is not something that you know uh, if you invest money then uh, tomorrow you can double your money and, and not get any risk so i just want to be honest uh with everyone that forex is a vi uh, very high risk but high reward type of um business okay so let's move forward the next uh, feature is the, the leverage trading. So what does uh, leverage trading means? It means that you can trade more with less. So for example, you deposited um, $100. So if this is $100, you can have a buying power of $100,000. That's because of the leverage that your broker is, give it, uh, is giving. And uh, with this leverage, it actually gives you uh, more opportunities to earn money uh, in this market. Okay, next. So another feature of this market is you can profit from bullish and bearish markets. So whether you're buying or you're selling, um, there's an opportunity for you to earn uh, money. So easily, there's there's a buy position. Um, if the market is uh, going up, you just have to buy. And if the market is going down, uh, you sell. Okay, but of course, um, there are things that we call like support and resistance. So that uh, you have to um, consider when uh, trading in this market. So you have to to learn it first. Next, ease of access. So what does this mean? So with the recent technology that we have, um, it's very easy to uh, trade in this market. So before, if um, during the 80s, um, nung, nung internet, we don't have smartphones. Um, before you can trade, you have to call in your broker and place the trade for you. But now with the, the current technology that we have, all you need is an internet, um, a smartphone, a laptop, desktop, or tablet. Uh, you can access the market anywhere in the world. So even if you're from the Philippines uh, and you're trading and you're traveling, let's say abroad, for as long as you have internet connection, then that's fine. You can um, actually start trading. All right, next. Um, who are the, the participants or who trades uh, Forex market? So we have the central banks, commercial banks, multinational companies. We also have fund managers and um, this is us. We are the retail traders who are participating in the market. So um, basically, since it's a 5.1 trillion market, there's uh, marami po siyang participants. So, so yung lahat po na yun, um, nakaka-apekto din sa uh dalaw ng market oh okay so for just uh a few questions lang um sorry if it's uh, my line is uh if it's breaking or kung nagpuputol putol uh i think it's the internet um for the commission uh, commission, meron po sa VIP. Um, meron din si Pro Account. But the, the Classic does not have any commission. Okay. Okay. So next, um, what is a, a Forex broker? So, eto na po. Dito na po papasok si TechMill. So if you need uh, to trade, you need a broker. Uh, so Tickmill is one of uh, the brokers who provides access to uh, trading. All 
All right, so now we move forward to the, the common forex trading terminologies. So ano nga ba yung mga common uh, trading terminologies that uh, traders are using? So we have a uh, long, um, short, so that's buy and sell. We have leverage. We have uh, leverage and margin, tip and points, uh, lot, bid and ask, tsaka uh, spread. So first, Long, um, short, buy and sell. Um, if we say we're you're going long, uh, you believe price can go higher. You place a trade at a lower price and will make money as the prime price moves higher. So in some uh, some traders call it call it going long. Um, so pag narinig yung po na no, sa so sabi ng ibang traders, I'm long on euro US dollar. Ibig sabihin nun na kabay po sila. Um, and next, yung kabalik na rin naman, which is short or sell. Sell means going short. So you believe price will fall. You place a trade at a higher price and will make money as price moves lower. Okay? Next, uh, leverage. So na-mention natin kanina, di ba? Uh, leverage, uh, the, mark, the broker is giving you um, better buying power sa, sa original amount na deposit mo. So this is the, uh, the ability to trade at a scale that is much much larger than the funds available in the trader's account. So always remember lang, um, when you're trading, uh, the higher the leverage, the riskier you are. So you have to also manage it. And uh, uh, by next month, if you follow our um, um if you follow our group, we have a group in uh, Facebook. It's called uh, Forex Traders Philippines. We will be announcing future webinars uh, about risk management and some uh, trading strategies that you can uh, try to apply to your trading. Okay, next, margin. So in margin, naman, this is the minimum amount that a trader must deposit into their trading account to start trading. So margin, this is actually the amount required for you to be able to open a trade. All right, next. PIP or um, percentage and point. Sa iba po, they call it price and point. So um, that's tama din po. So PIP or uh, percentage and point is the unit of measurement used by traders to show the change in value between currency pairs. So it's the fourth decimal place in the currency pairs and second decimal uh, place for yen pairs and other pairs like uh, gold or XAUUSD. So at this in this illustration, so sa Euro USD, for example, uh, base currency is 1.13631. So sabi ika fourth. Sabi niya fourth decimal place. So you just have to uh, count from the decimal point so one two three four so this is the pip yun nasa dulo po that's point so um if you will count so ang ang importansya nito is para malaman mo uh, magana ba yung value nung uh, tinatrade mo uh, how much will you earn if the market moves if the price go up so this is uh, what you're gonna count how many pips that did the currency pair move so uh, in trading, meron tayo, it's always in pair. So, yung pinakauna is the, the base currency. This is the base currency. Ito naman yung cold currency. Ibig sabihin, in this case, in uh, the value of 1 euro is equivalent to 1.136 uh, US dollar. So always remember, kahit uh, uh, anong pair pa yan, basa yung pinakauna. Like in this case, this is the base currency will be USD and the code currency will be Japanese yen. So ibig sabihin, the value of 1 US dollar is equivalent to 113.82 Japanese yen. Okay, so if, um, I hope we're clear on that. Okay, so no, wala namang questions. Okay, alright. 
So next, uh, we move forward. So lot. Um, lot is the number of currency units you will buy or sell. So in trading, there's what we call a uh, lot size. Um, okay, Kalu, I'm, I'm not sure what uh, you mean. Can you take that again? Okay, so for the lot, uh, the number of currency units you will buy or sell. So we have the standard lot, which is 100,000 units. Um, so platform, the volume is 1.00. So the equivalent niya per pip movement, so earlier we discussed pip, is $10. So meaning to say if you're tra trading at least one lot, this is one lot, 1.00. If the market moves by, uh, moves up and nakabay ka at uh, 10 pips, that's 10 times uh, 10, you will get a $100 profit from that trade. And we also have the mini lot, that's 10,000 units. The volume is 0.10, and that's $1 per pip. Uh, micro lot is 1,000, so the volume is 0 0.01. And the uh, value is 0.10 cents per pip movement. So we also have nano lot. This applies for um, cents accounts. Um, 100 units. The volume is 0 0.01. And the value per pip movement is 0 0.01. So in Take Milpo, we, we don't offer micro lot. We have the standard. We have classic and the pro and the VIP account. Next, we also have the, the bid and ask. So the bid is the price the forex trader is willing to sell, uh, sell a currency pair for. Ask is the price a trader will buy a currency pair at. So, so trading, um, as mentioned earlier, earlier, we have the base currency and the counter currency or the uh, quote currency. So the bid price is one... Um, 1.1051 and the ask price is yung second po, it's the 1.1053. So, depende sa broker nyo yung magiging spread. Okay. So, sa so spread naman. So, we are here at spread. So, spread is basically the difference between the um, bid and ask price. So, ito po, yun nasa gitna. If your broker is pick mail, uh, you will see na yung uh, spread is ganito lang. Ganyan lang. Ganyan. Minsan, sobrang magkadikit pa sila. Minsan, magkadikit na magkadikit kasi nga uh, spread starts from 0, 0.0. So, um, if your spread is actually the, the transaction cost, you're pay, uh, paying the broker when you're trading. And of course, the lower cost you pay, that means uh, more profit for you. Okay, so any questions? Okay, wala naman po tayong questions. All right, that's good. So, moving on. So, we have uh, several, when, when you start trading, um, this is not a guessing game. So, um, it's actually, um, you, you do educated guesses. It's a guess. Um, hindi po siya yung parang, uh, um, let's say, sabong, na pipili ka lang, sino yung mukhang malakas. So, in, in forex trading, um, you're not actually gambling because, you know, you can uh, see um, kung ano yung pwedeng mangyari sa market. You 
take um, an educated guess. You analyze the market and see uh, how it will move. So in trading, there are three basic types of Forex market analysis. There's fundamental analysis, there's uh, technical analysis, and we have sentiment analysis. So uh, these three are actually very important in uh, trading. So what is a uh, fundamental analysis? So for fundamental analysis, it's a way of looking at the forex market by analyzing um, economic, social, and political forces that affect, uh, may affect the supply and demand of an asset. So basically, for fundamental analysis, we're looking at the news. So high-impact news that may affect the currency pair or the instrument that you are trading. So what are those news that impacts, uh, that has high impact? So there's gross domestic product, consumer price index, employment data, trade balance, industrial production, non-farm payroll, retail sales, producer price index, and interest rate. So those are uh, high impact news that can affect um, the instrument that you are trading. Okay, so just you just have to remember that um, the currency with the weak economy, the value drops. Pero if it's a strong economy, the currency value grows. So um, in essence, you keep the currency that has higher value and you dispose the currency that has lower value. Okay, so um, actually, Tickmill, uh, para na po siyang one-stop shop because it has a lot of um, instruments um, na kailangan mo. So, uh, lahat ito, uh, Tickmill gives it to um, its clients for free. So, we have, um, this is under client tools economic calendar so you can see here what are the the upcoming um, events that may affect the instrument that you're trading so you can choose um, the the real time or your local time i mean uh, here you can just simply select uh, so in my uh, in my case i'm in asia so i'm gmt plus eight and you will see this is going to be your local time so when they said uh, for economic calling calendar the good thing about this, if if they say that they will release the data at 12 noon, um, you will see this data at 12 noon. It, it's not going to be an hour late. It will be there on time. Okay, so if you need access to this, all you have to do is go to the Tickmill website, click Client Tools, and uh, check on Economic Calendar. Next, what is... Um, Technical analysis. So Forex technical analysis involves looking at patterns in price history to determine the higher probability, time, and place to enter a trade and exit a trade. As a result, technical analysis in Forex is one of the most widely used type of analysis. So uh, this is right because a lot of traders are actually using um, the, uh, the price action of the market. Um, that's the tool that they're using uh, in order to, to place a trade. So this is an example of a uh, technical analysis. You actually, um, kailangan mo lang hanapin where is the, the support and the resistance, what is the current trend of the market. So these are um, analysis na pwede mong gawin. Uh, it's available in your platform. Um, if you're using phone, laptop, um, tablet, or um, desktop, you can you have these tools in uh, MetaTrader 4. Okay. And what is sentiment analysis? Forex sentiment is another widely popular form of analysis. So when you see sentiment overwhelmingly positioned to one direction, this means the vast majority of traders are already committed to that position. So for sentiment analysis, this is actually for us traders this is uh, where you see whether uh, most of traders are on buy position on some certain assets 
or instruments. So, for example, in this uh, analysis, if we look at US 500, so the sentiment here is that 72% of um, traders are short. Okay. So, marami sa kanila ang naka... Uh, so, so, it's also good to see um, kung ano yung sentiment ng mga kapwa traders mo kasi it also gives you an idea on what can happen next. Okay? Any questions? Okay, none so far. So, wag po kayong mahihiyang gamitin tong ating... Uh, chat box so you can ask questions there okay if you have uh, any okay so far wala naman okay next so next topic um okay so we already discussed the basics of the forex market so um ano ba yung next um if you know the the basics uh we understand the basic what's next so first you have to uh, get a broker. So you register a thick mill client area. So this is our website, um, https um, com. So click create account. Ito po. Dito lang click create account. So make sure na thick mill Seychelles yung inyong uh, account na you create. And once you have created an account, So you need to get your account validated. So what are the um, documentations you need? So we need uh, one valid ID and a proof of address or proof of billing. So if you ha don't have any um, proof of billing uh, under your name, that's fine. You can upload another address like um, the one with an address like TIN, postal ID, UMID. Uh, driver's license um, and also Comelec, these uh, can be used then po as proof of address. Pero take note lang that if you use, uh, let's say, postal ID, if you use it for uh, proof of identification, you can no longer use it as proof of address. So you need to upload another ID if you don't have the uh, bill or bank statement. Uh, or kung wala naman, kung wala tayong masyadong ID, you can also use barangay, uh, barangay certificate or barangay clearance. So, um, enter nyo lang na at least three months na um, three months at latest yung uh, barangay clearance. Okay, next. So, open a trading account in your, uh, once you have created uh, a client area and fully verified na siya, then you can open a trading account. So, please remember in TickMill po, uh, actually the good thing about uh, TickMill and what uh, I like about TickMill uh, as opposed to other brokers, um, hindi po kayo makakapag-trade, makakapag-fund until uh, fully validated na yung account niyo. Sa ibang brokers kasi, kahit hindi pa kayo nag-submit ng ID or hindi pa validated yung account, uh, makakapag-trade na kayo. Tapos kapag uh, mag-withdraw na, uh, marami na silang hihinging document. So, hindi, tapos hindi nyo ma-present. If you cannot present it, then you won't be able to withdraw your fund. So, in TechMail, umpisa pa lang, they make sure that you are fully verified uh, para pag dumating in time na you need to withdraw your funds, wala ka ng problema, you don't need to present anything. Um, easily, your withdrawal will be processed. So, once you're fully verified, that's the time that you can create your trading account. So just select which trading account do you want to, to open. Okay? So, next. Um, after you created the trading account, you will have to download the MetaTrader 4, the MT4 platform. So you will uh, find it uh, in the TickMill website then under Platforms, click MT4. So the MT4 is available in uh, Windows, uh, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and uh, we also have the Web Trader. So what's good about MT4, it's, it's actually the most commonly used um, platform. So you can uh, trade uh, CFDs on Forex, stock indices, commodities, and uh, bonds. You can uh, execute your order. 
um, and ito, you also, if you're using EA, like uh, uh, some of uh, my clients, they have um, EA on their account, so ginagamit nila yun, uh, you can run it then easily sa, sa MP4 account. Okay, tapos uh, we also offer free VPS, so kung familiar tayo sa uh, VPS, that's a virtual private uh, server. So for VPS, if uh, five at least five thousand dollars above na balance, we offer the VPS for free. Okay. So next, um, after you created an account, download the platform. You uh, st can start depositing sa account mo. So in Tickwheel, we have a lot of uh, funding options, and recently uh, we have included the the Philippines online. Uh, bank transfer. So we partnered with Dragon Pay. Um, we have GCash then. Para very easily our Filipino clients can uh, start trading sa sa Tikmin. But um, bukod dito, we also have other methods like bank transfer, uh, credit or debit card, web money, Skrill. Uh, these are online wallets. Uh, Netteller and StickPay. So, yung funding time for online bank transfer within one working day, or if it's fully verified, uh, it can be instant. Um, for bank wire, 1 to 24 hours. Uh, credit or debit card, 24-7 instant. Uh, web money, um, instant. Uh, all online wallets are instant. And fee, ito po. Another good thing about TickMill is we don't charge clients for deposit and withdrawal so you don't have to pay anything uh when uh you, you deposit or withdraw even for bank transfers if you're transferring at least five thousand dollars we can cover the bank charge that your bank charged you uh when you did the bank wire okay sounds good no all right next so uh, just a little uh information about Tickmill. So Tickmill, um, proven track record of strong financial results and stable growth, uh, put us in an viable position as a trusted market leader and innovator. So, ito po, dito na tayo sa regulation. Tickmill stands as a highly regarded forex uh, broker with uh, three licenses. These are huge licenses. We have FCA UK. We have Cyprus or CySEC under European Union. And we have FSA, Financial Services Association, Seychelles, under uh, Satic Mill. So these are three very strong regulations. So for trading conditions, we have very uh, um, little uh, spread. So very good push. Uh. You can run EAs. We, we don't have any restrictions on trading strategies. You can do hedging. You can run expert advisors. You can do scalping. Lahat po yun. There's no minimum time to uh, hold positions. Uh, all of it are um, allowed sa TikMill. So other than that, we also have um, education. So uh, we have webinars, seminars, uh, video tutorials, even e-books. Um, there was an e-book na I shared po dun sa ating uh, Facebook group. Uh, Forex Traders Philippines. So you can also use, you can download that for free. Um, lahat po to, uh, free lang binibigay ni Tickmill for uh, its clients to, to be sure na lahat ng clients natin is properly educated before they, they dive in into uh, trading. Next, okay. Ito po yung pinakamagandang part. Um, in, in other brokers, you cannot do uh, trading if, uh, you don't have any funds. So, um, we have uh, some promotions na makakatulong po. So, um, we have this welcome account. So, we give $30 free uh, welcome account for uh, TickMill clients. So, the, this bonus is actually intended for uh, clients then na planong mag-trade with TickMill. Um, so, if you want to, to participate, you just have to go to the website. You click uh, promotions. Okay. If we go back here, uh, click nyo lang po itong promotions. 
Ayan, click this promotion. So you will see $30 welcome account. So feel free to uh, open an account. So if you have some friends then who want to try uh, Forex, they, you can also refer them to us. You can uh, have them try this welcome account because this is uh, this is amazing because you can uh, experience the live trading um, environment. And at the same time, if you get... Uh, to earn if there, there's you you profit uh you profited from the trading account pwede niyo po siyang ma-withdraw okay and uh, there are just some uh, terms and conditions uh na nandun din naman sa welcome account link so feel free to read the terms and conditions i always uh tell my client na uh, to read it kasi the profit is withdrawable so para hindi po para ma-ensure na hindi masaya yung effort sa pag-trade is basahin na yung terms and conditions para lahat ma-follow. And pag nag-request na tayo ng withdrawal kay Tickmill, walang uh, masyadong issue. Okay? So next, um, we also have the rebate. So, um, if you notice, Tickmill has the, the lowest spread in the market, pero we still uh, are able to provide uh, rebates uh, for clients. The, the rebates are... Uh, given to, to clients, so you trade and you get paid. So, depende sa tier system mo. So, you can uh, actually um, earn from your trading. So, since nagbabayad ka ng spread, we can still um, give you back some of it. Uh, it's not as much kasi hindi naman, masyad, hindi naman malaki yung spread natin. So, if you're trading uh, total monthly trading volume is at 0 to 1,000 lots, then you get 25 uh, cents. Uh, tier 2, 1,001 to 3,000 lots. Monthly, uh, total monthly trading volume, that's 0. 0.50 cents. Tier 3, 3,001 lots and above. Total monthly trading volume, that's 75 cents. So, not bad, no? Kasi whenever you're uh, trading, you still get to, to earn. Although this is not really big, but it's still something. Kasi nga, malit lang yung spread natin. Okay, any questions? Okay, meron po bang uh, any questions or clarifications? Okay. Alright, if you, um, wala tayong question, uh, all good. All right. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, I'm going to share uh, yung MT4 natin. Okay, so this is um, a Tickmill MT4. So kung mga baguhan po tayo, um, and we have it um, done trading, I will show you. Uh, this is uh, a demo account. So uh, I'm going to show you kung paano nyo siya gagamitin. So first, um, this question I get a lot pagdating po sa, sa welcome account and how they will... Um, how they will log in. So, see, the server for the, the welcome account is tickmail-02-live. Dash, uh, tickmail so, hindi po siya nag-show. For some reason, it's not showing um, agad. So, what you need to do in order to, to log in your welcome account is you open an account. Tapos, on the, dito po, add new broker. So, type nyo lang tickmail. So, in my case, I have it na. So, once you do that, lalabas na yung Tickmill 02-Live. So, this is uh, the Tickmill 02-Live. Click Next. Tapos, ito po. Click Existing Trade Account. Tapos, uh, 
just put uh, the login details that TechMail sent you via email. Live demo. Uh, we still have uh, some time, so let's let's discuss both. So live demo daw sa, I'm not sure if you're seeing the questions of uh, the other um, traders, uh, other audience. So they're, they're requesting for a live demo. So ito, so dito niya lang ilalog in in details. Tapos when you do that, click finish and there, magkakaroon na kayo. Lalabas na yung dito sa terminal. This is by the way, this is the terminal. So dito niyo na makikita yung $30. So, for MT4, this is uh, Market Watch. Dito lalabas lahat ng pairs available sa, sa trading. So, yan. Dito po. Pwede nyo siyang ish... Uh, ang gagawin nyo lang is right-click, tapos show all. Para lahat ng available pairs lalabas. Okay? Tapos ako po as a, as a trader kasi, no? Uh, the default kasi is just the symbol, bid, and ask. So, I always uh, check yung spread para makita ko kung uh, ano yung spread ng uh, currency pair na tinitrade ko. Kasi if it's if the spread is too high, I'm, I'm not trading it kasi sayang. So, dito makikita nyo naman. So, USDJPY, 1, 3. Uh, mababa lang po for the, the major uh, currency pair. Sometimes, zero pa yan. See? Sa so, odd, uh, nagsizero pa siya. So um so this is the market watch. Ito naman si Navigator. So dito kayo magla-log in. You can add uh, multiple trading accounts. Um indicators well, if you're using indicators in trading, dito niyo rin kukunin uh, drag and drop lang siya. Tapos uh, also expert advisors and dito rin po. Kung gusto niyo um there are signals for free din dito lang mismo. You can check. You can test it uh, sa demo account to see if it's uh earning talaga. Alright. So, next, this is the terminal. So, it's the terminal window. Ito yung uh, uh, kung, nandito lahat nung um, kung may open positions kayo, dito nyo makikita. Dito nyo rin makikita kung magkano yung balance nung account. So, this is just a demo account that started with $100,000. Tapos, um, we have your balance. So, balance is what you have on your account. Tapos, si equity naman, it's your balance plus or minus itong mga floating uh, profit and loss. Okay? Tapos, margin naman, it, this is the the amount required para ma-open nyo yung existing trades nyo. So, in this case, it's one uh, 1,110. Tapos, si free margin, this is the amount. Free margin is the amount na magkano pa yung pwede nyong i-trade. And the margin level naman, it's the percentage which brokers see kapag ka, ano na, um, if you're familiar with the stop out level, o yung margin call na tinatawag nila, so dito po tumitingin. So some, most brokers, if 20% na lang to, or 100%, nasa stop out na yung account. So pag sinabi natin stop out, ito na yung unti-unti nang magko-close yung mga trades nyo. Tapos um, starting from the highest negative. So if you're trading at uh, negative siya pero ayaw yung i-give up, the broker will then have to decide for you if you don't uh, cut loss or if you don't add funds sa account. Okay? So at next naman, this is the chart. So, ito po yung uh, chart. Uh, modified na yung colors niya. Pero the, the default is black. Black and white. So, it's up to you naman. If you want to change colors, you just have to do right click. So, right click nyo lang. Tapos, properties. If not, uh, click F8. So, yan. Dito nyo lang po baguhin yung colors. Kung anong gusto nyo uh, color ng um, uh, candlestick. So if bar up, you can... Um, Modify it to your liking. Tapos, this is the, the trade panel. So, if naka-on po yung one-click trading, isang click nyo lang ng sell, there, or, or buy, ayan, mag-open na siya agad ng trade. So, there. Automatic na po siya. 
Pero if you want to do it manually, pwede dito sa new order. So, piliin nyo lang uh, yung symbol. So, if it's Euro USD or let's say you want to trade oil. Yan, crude oil. So, yan. Click yung volume. Stop loss. Uh, tsaka take profit amount. Ilalagay nyo rin po. Or you can put it later on. Tapos market execution if you want it real time na buy now, sell now. Pero uh, we also have pending orders. So, pending orders, we have buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, and sell stop. So, ito, these pending orders, nilalagay siya. If you want to trade, uh, pero hindi pa na at a certain price, pero yung market, hindi niya pa na-reach yung price na yun. So, for example, um, in this case, for Euro USD sabi natin, tumaas siya, pero you want to uh, confirm na talagang tataas na siya bago ka mag-enter ng uh, trade, so you can place a um, pending order. So, sabi natin, you want to ensure na nag-close na siya. Okay, sabi natin, uh, gusto mo dito ka pumasok. Yan. So, ito lang yung pinindot ko. Yan. Dito ka pumasok, pero hindi pa nare-reach ng price and Hindi naman pwede na 24 oras ka na lang nakabantay sa platform, di ba? Kasi may mga buhay naman tayo. So, what you will do is you will place a, a pending order. So, you will, uh, you can do it here, new order. So, buy stop. There. Tapos, lagay nyo lang kung anong price. Anong price pa to? 1.104. 1.10482. Yan. So, place nyo lang. Um, you can also put the stop loss and take profit. And then, click place. Tapos, okay, na-click ko na siya. Uh, you can also uh, check kung yung expiry. Ibig sabihin nito, um, if you place a, a pending order and you want it to um, to ha hanggang 29 lang, ibig sabihin, if Pagdating ng uh, May 29 at hindi niya pa nare-reach yung price na sinet mo, automatic na maka-cancel yung pending order mo. So, you will put an expiry. If ayaw mo naman noon, gusto mo uh, good till cancel siya, so tatanggalin mo lang to and then you click place. So, once mag-move na yung price, this price, once umakit na siya at malagpasan niya na tong price na to, magtuloy-tuloy pa taas, mag-open yung, uh, yung buy stop nyo. So, uh, sell stop, same naman din. Uh, baliktad lang din. If magtuloy-tuloy siya pababa, say for example dito, pag nagtuloy-tuloy yung market pababa, that's when you place a uh, sell stop. Okay? Now, for um, also dito, I have to mention, we have a uh, time frame din. Um, Yan. So, meron din tayong time frame. Okay. So, we have M1. That's 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, 1 day, weekly, monthly. So, each time frame, magkakaiba po yung itsura ng chart. Yan. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, itong time frame, uh, for example, nandito tayo sa H1 or 1 hour, itong candlestick nagre-represent ng 1 hour movement ng market. Okay? So, that's it. Um, that's how you uh, trade. You, you just use the trade panel and you can do this. Um, we, you have to, uh, in trading po, you know, uh, once naka-attend ka ng isang webinar, it doesn't stop there. You have to uh, continuously learn the market kasi um, marami, po, marami po tayong kailangan matutunan before we can even start. But uh, while 
you're learning, maganda na rin that you start with a demo account or even the the welcome account that TechMill offers. Kasi kailangan mo na makita early on uh, how the market moves. Hindi pwedeng puro basa-basa lang tayo. You have to uh, take action. You have to have an account, basically. Okay? Okay, so uh, do you have any questions? Okay, wala naman. Okay, so if uh, wala na tayong questions, then um, that's it. Uh, we conclude the, the webinar for uh, tonight. Um, if you have any questions, I will show my details. You can contact me. Okay, ito po. So just uh, feel free to message me uh, for any questions. So... So I, this is my Facebook and uh, Telegram, and this is my number. So message na lang po ako. Um, again, thank you for uh, participating in uh, tonight's session. Um, okay, my recorded session. Um, I will upload uh, the recorded session in uh, YouTube. Um, I hope you're from the the Philippines, Kalu. Okay, Sir Luzville, thank you din po. Thank you for for your time, Miss Ivy. Um, and everyone who participated, okay, um, thank you and um, just visit our website and uh, join the, the Facebook page that we have, uh, sorry, Facebook group for um, future updates sa uh, mga susunod nating sessions. Um, thank you and have a good night.